Hey everybody, I'm Ellen here at eTrailer.com and we're going to be taking a quick look at the Lock Rack XL Water Sport Carrier. This allows you to haul any kind of bigger water sport carrier or uh, watercraft on your roof. It's a pretty big carrier. There's uh, about three different sizes from Lock Rack and this is the biggest. So it allow you to haul oversized canoes, deep hulled fishing kayaks, or stack up to three paddle boards, sup paddle boards. And should make a pretty great addition to your vehicle to haul those equipment or those things down the road. The thing that's really unique to the lock rack system is that it's going to clamp around your gear so that eliminates the need to have load straps going around everything to cinch it onto the rack. That usually takes a lot of time to get those straps on and get them threaded through everything. You have to thread it through your roof rack, thread it through the carrier. It just takes forever to do. So this will save you some time in that respect. I will say though, they do still recommend that you use a bow and stern strap, so you still aren't gonna be able to get away from having any straps at all. The bow and stern basically just makes sure that there's no lift back or forward as you're traveling down the highway, especially uh, going forward, just to keep everything cinched down. This should still do a pretty good job, but they do recommend that you use those straps still. It doesn't come with them, but you can find those here at eTrailer.com if you wanna pick them up, which you should. As far as everything else, Pretty simple to get them installed, pretty simple to operate. So let's take a look at what actually we get in the kit and I'll give you some measurements as well to make sure that this is the right fit for you. So we'll have two pieces, one to go on your front load bar, one to go on the back. I have them adjusted out to the widest that it'll go and the smallest that it'll go to give you an idea of the range here that you can adjust it. It comes with all the tools that you'll need to get this installed, which is always nice. So you'll have this little uh, 10 millimeter kind of socket wrench and then a smaller um, Allen or hex key there. And this little guy, there's actually four of these that come in the kit and this allows you to unlock the arm and adjust it in and out. There are 13 points of adjustment on each of those arms. They adjust in half inch increments. So it should give you a pretty good range as far as getting everything installed to make sure that you have a nice clamp around your gear. You can also put this on a keychain. So if you wanna keep it with you so you don't lose it, that's probably a good idea. Um, again, you do get four of these, one for each arm. So if you happen to lose one, you should have three more to work with. You can use this as either the clamp style with those feet there, it comes with those adapters, or you can just use the T-slot bolt that it comes with to slide into the T-slot of your roof rack. It's really up to you. You do save a little bit of space height-wise whenever you use the T-slot version. Um, about 3 eighths of an inch is really all that you're gonna get though uh, between the adapter and just the T-slot itself. As far as the other measurements with this, Whenever we have it all the way in, as tight as it'll go, it's about 22 and a half inches at the bottom, and then about seven and three eighths inches up at the top. The total height from the base to the tippity top of the arm here is about 17 inches. If we go inside for the height going to the top of the arm that's actually usable, it's about 14 and a half inches. So that's the minimum that it'll be when we've got everything expanded all the way out and the base will expand out too. As you can see here, we've got a little bit of space. There's three adjustments that you can make to that and then pushing our arms all the way out to the edge. Inside edge here, the widest that it can possibly hold is 41 and a half inches. At the very top, it's about 26 and a half inches. The outside edge to outside edge, as far as how much space it's taking up on, your, on the top of your vehicle, it's 47 inches. Whenever it's the smallest it can go, it's 28 inches. Height doesn't change either way, um, but you can also flip the arms down if you're not using the rack. So you just take them all the way out, flip it forward or back. Looks like there's only one hole drilled on there, so you'll want to put that the way that it can lock into place which would actually be the other way, but I'm gonna do it like that just so you can get an idea there. So you can put those to the side so that it locks everything in and you don't have these sitting up top uh, really tall. Whenever you do that and you're using the T-slot, it's about two inches tall. If you've got the adapters going around your load bar, it's about two and three eighths inches tall. So it really 
shrinks it down from about 17 inches to about two inches. So makes a big difference as far as that height. So you're not having to worry about whacking your garage with those arms. The weight limit for this is pretty high as well. It's 175 pounds. You do want to check your owner's manual on your roof rack and also your vehicle if it has it listed. Sometimes they don't have them in the owner's manual, but if they do, you definitely want to go off of the lowest number between any of your components to make sure that you're not overloading it. And you want to weigh your roof rack, the carrier, plus your gear that you're putting on top. Don't just assume that whatever you're hauling is all that it, that the only weight that you're putting on there. So just something to keep in mind. It is pretty light. It's made of uh, mostly aluminum. So the rack itself shouldn't add too much weight to your vehicle, but just something to keep um, in mind there. And if you want to see a complete list of measurements for the rack, we do have a little bit more broken out specs there. But overall, I think this is a really simple rack, really good way to go to keep everything nice and secure on your vehicle. So I hope this video has been helpful in deciding if this is the right kit for you. We do have a lot of options here at eTrailer.com, so check them out. Thanks for watching.